Hello everyone, Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. Um, busy knitting one of the little blue cardigans that um, I have to do. And this is um, I'm doing a double moss stitch. This one. There's quite a few different kinds of moss stitches. Uh, you know, I do an open moss stitch, uh, an ordinary moss stitch. Irish moss stitch and I call this double moss stitch because it's two rows of knit two purl two and then reverse to two rows of purl two knit two so it's exactly the same as moss stitch only you're doing two rows instead of one and it's two stitches instead of one only thing when I started this this wool is quite thick don't know that you can see it's the um the spotty wool that I'm doing. And I started knitting when I started knitting it, I started the um the welt on the um the bottom with three twenty-five millimeter needles because I was in ten. Well the, the pattern um the ball on the um the wool says four millimeter needles. So I used three twenty-five and it qu it felt quite thick actually when I was doing uh, like I thought I felt I could have used 375 actually on the um the welt so when I started doing the pattern I think I did 10 rows and I think it seems it's too th it's making it thicker so I've changed to three not to three um to 450 needles and it's much better so I think if I knit any more with this wool it's got to be the um the old seven, that's what the size is, the old English size is seven, but it's 4.50 millimetre. And it knits up much better like that because it did feel thick and... So I have to remember, I've done ten rows, I've knit ten rows, so it's two, four, six, eight, ten. Yes, I've known knit 10 rows on the four millimeter needles so when i come to do the fronts i'll have to do the first 10 rows on each side on the uh, the four millimeter needle to keep the um the measurements right but just to keep what it, the consistency of the wool what it looks like um so that's that one i'm doing the um like i'm seeing the the double moss stitch on this little card and probably put a little color on it and I finished the pink. I'll show it. This is the 26 inch pink one. And I've sent a message to um to Carol. I think she was the one that asked me for it. But you know, I had so many emails in my Gmail, it was getting stuffed. I couldn't get anything else in. So I was having to delete all the emails, and I forgot I've deleted the mail, but the the email that Carol asked me, and I'm sure it was Carol that asked me. She'll know. I sent her a, um, a message anyway um, to ask when it's finished, and it does measure. It's a twenty six inch, but it does measure twenty eight across the uh, the chest. So there's plenty, plenty grown room in for it. It measures eleven inches from here up to the armholes, and the sleeve is 12 measures 12 inches up to the armhole so it's a good a good size um i would think about a, um a four to six year old probably you will get a good use out of it so that was that one finished and then when i get that that one finished that i'm doing now i've got another one to do for the same lady I did the other the other four. I was supposed to go down this morning down to um to Whitley Bay. So and she asked me to do a couple more. I thought I'm gonna have to go down again with these and if you're in it probably two or three days when I finish them, probably one day next week. So I tried to send her because she messages me on Messenger on Facebook and I was trying to message her back to tell her because I didn't have a daughter's phone number, who was my next, used to be my next door neighbour. I didn't have a phone number, and I checked her on Facebook, but there was no nothing. She's on Facebook, but there was nothing on her 
page for quite a long time. I did send a message, but uh, she hasn't received it. So I was thinking, I don't want to go down, have to go down again. And I was wondering how to, wondering how to get in touch with, because I did send a message to um, Carol. That's the, um, the lady I'm knitting them for. Sent a couple of messages to her, and I don't know what she's doing, but she's never noticed them on Messenger. So I thought I'll look on Facebook and see, or maybe she's got a phone number on there, because I didn't know where her phone number was either. And I did, her phone number was there, so I managed to get a message to her that, um, this morning. I think I got out of bed this morning, actually. <laughs> I could tell she was coughing and all sorts when uh, when I rang her. I was just telling her, I says, um, to Carol, I says, um, get on to your Linda and I says, and tell her that. You know, I'm not coming down today. I don't want her sitting waiting in for me and I'm not coming because I says I'm not going to come down twice in a, in a two or three days, you know, when I could do them all, all together at once. So I managed to get that sorted anyway and uh, got a message to her. Now I'm having a, a drink of my tea while I'm sitting here as well. So I might, I've only done a little bit of this one, but I might start um, putting it on my other, for that channel is a tutorial. It's just like a 16 inch one, I'll put the um, the tutorial on, but I'm writing it down as I'm knitting it, so I can keep the all instructions for writing down the bigger, the bigger sizes and that. And I might do a, I've had one or two people asking me about the pom-pom yarn, about how how the cast on how you cast off and all that so i think i'm going to do a little just a little bit a little sample bit and i'll put that on my other channel as well and i'll do a um a little tutorial and show how how you cast on with it which there's still quite a lot of videos if you look around on youtube there's quite a lot of videos on it but i will put a little video up and just do a little sample piece and show how i cast on and how i cast off and how you join another ball on because it's not straightforward joining a ball of that stuff with the pom poms and that you can't just knot it and or what have you and just leave a bit hanging on the end like you do on other ones you actually have to sew the pieces together so i'll probably do a little just a little bit a little sample thing when i get sorted and i have been asked about my um little cases that i do for crochet hooks and all that about whether i'm doing a tutorial for for them or not so i'll have to sort that out because it does take me time for to do those little things like that it means i have to crochet the little bag and show how to um to put the lining in and the zip and everything and and then I was also asked, because I did mention I was going to do some of the little bags that I do, like the big ones I have for myself, for holding the, um, the wool and that. And I haven't made up my mind what size I'm going to do, but it's going to be a small one for children. So I have been asked about whether I'm going to do a tutorial for that and all. So <laughs> I would probably do a tutorial for that and all. I'm hoping I can get all these things done because I've got so many things to do and... Just find, finding the time, that's the problem. At least if I, if I don't have any orders to, um, to do, I can please myself what I do, which is what I want to do, actually. But there'll not be much tonight because I'm going to bingo tonight. I'll pick up my friend as usual. She's been on the, <laughs> on the message again. You know, she should know by now. She doesn't need to ask me if I'm pick what time I'm picking her up. She'll pick her up the same time every week. And hope we have a lot of good luck like we had last week for the um the bingo. And I have done the wrong way, I've done something wrong here. Knit, pearl, knit, pearl, knit. That should be a pearl labour it's coming out to knit. I think I must have done something wrong in this. I have to take that row back again. I've only just started this. This is what happens when I do talking in it. That should be a pearl. Those stitches should be a pearl. But the ones before that are pearl. And there's knit, pearl, knit, pearl, knit. Oh, I think I've done in the row before that. I've ended with two lots of two pearl. 
that's the way I've done the mistake. So it was nothing to do with talking on here, it was before I came on here. <laughs> I do find when I'm knitting, I tend to make mistakes when I'm talking. <laughs> and this is another, it's quite an easy pattern. It's exactly the same as what I'm wearing, except instead of knit two, purl two for four rows and then purl two, knit two for four rows. It's knit two, purl two for two rows and purl two, knit two for two rows. So it's another miniature basket stitch actually but it is like a double moss stitch that's we'll have to take that back to the the end of that row to the start of that row actually and then to the end of the other row yes that's what i've done <laughs> i've got four knit stitches together there No, it wasn't there. It's further in here. Yeah, I can see the stitches there. I can show you one there. See that row there? There's one, two, three, four purl stitches. There should only be two. So I don't know how I managed to do that one. I wasn't even sitting here talking, but anyway, that's it. I'm going to have to go back and put that right. So... Thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you all another time so bye for now.